Hi, this is Ian from Dive Devil. Got some exciting news for you guys today. We've ordered in a 60 watt MOPA fiber laser for the prototype shop from OMG Lasers. So I will walk you through an unboxing and first use of the machine. Okay, so here it is in all its glory. Come in, looks very well packed. Um, the shipping was very quick on this. I think it took a couple of days to come from China to the UK. So we will have it open. Okay, so here we go. Got a latch in the front. Got a little, little package of goodies. All right, let's see what the best way to get this guy out the box is. Start with the, the tower on this side here. Got a cable and power socket, power plug I should say, some tools and another packet. There's a, a rule, 60 cm. Have another packet of goodies and some safety goggles. That's the rotary. This guy looks like he's going to be a bit of a challenge to get out of the box here. So we'll just set him down on the foam. There's uh, some plates. A few more boxes. Nice, uh, very good looking quality base plate. So, and then the base unit. So, this. I'm already really digging because it's got a nice handle on top, which makes uh, pulling the entire unit out a lot easier. Perfect. And that's everything in the box. So we'll have a look at the individual components in just a second. Okay, so we have everything unwrapped and laid out on the table. So let's go through it. So we have the, the base plate here. We've got a power cable. We've got the laser module and head and everything. And in there we've got a lens. Got a uh, aluminium business card from Richard. Um, 
We then have some extra fuses, a USB cable that it's come with, a USB stick with, I think, the software on it, some Allen keys. We have some aluminium business cards to practice with. Some blocks here, I think for the base plate and job alignment. We have two lenses, uh, a little cap for the back of this guy, which is a nice touch because I can see these things being easily forgotten. Uh, so it's nice that that's in there. We have some laser safety goggles. Some more plates, I'm assuming for the job alignment and holding and bits and pieces like that. We've got our tower. We have our rotary back here with some of its accessories that were uh, packaged with it. So we've got some little jaws and uh, bolts at all. We've got the 600 mil rule. Google assures me that this says fridge magnets. So uh, two fridge magnets, which is nice, a foot pedal. And then we've got this little guy, which I think is just like a little keychain thing. But uh, yeah, pretty nice. So overall, really well. The initial inspection of it, um, everything's perfect. There's no damage. It was packed really, really well. The, uh, the finish on this is, is lovely. Uh, so yeah, I'm really, really happy so far. Uh, it was packed really well in the case, so very pleased. So we'll get this thing put together and move on from there. All right, so first step, we'll get the tower installed here. So we'll just take these the bolts and the plate out. Okay, so I'm gonna just tighten those down to, so the heads are inside the, the recessed holes and just push the entire unit back and just in to make sure it's nice and, nice and square. So I'm just gonna nip them down. So they stop, but not tight. Okay, and then just go give it a little snug. So I'm gonna go opposite corners. I don't think these need, need to be reefed down very, very tight, just nice and snug. Perfect, so that's the first part. The next part we'll do is get the laser unit on top. So we'll find our Allen key. Okay, and we'll get the laser module up and on top. I'll just have a quick look underneath and see where we need to be. Okay, that's one. And four. So I'm just going to keep those loose for now. Okay, on the bottom of the laser head here, there's a blue mark. There's one on the front here. And then there's also one on the back. So what I'm going to do is get those lined up and then get the four screws nipped down. Um, I won't film this process because it'll just be boring and seeing me in weird angles. Okay, so I've just finished nipping this down. So I lined up the blue marks underneath. I pushed the entire unit that way just to, so it was nice and, and square against the bottom of the slots. 
and just snugged them down. So now what we'll do is we'll get this bit of plastic off here and we'll get the power plug connected to the unit, get the computer hooked up and um, we'll give it a go. Okay, we're just at the back of the machine here. So we'll pop down the little, little cap. Uh, we'll get the, the power plugs screwed in here. We go we'll, we'll now get the foot switch in and get the USB plugged in up here and um, we'll get her hooked up to the computer plugged into the wall and um, get it all set up okay so we'll give this guy a go. We'll try to connect him to light bulb. Turn the laser on. Open up light bulb. Gonna go down to devices. Find my laser. Next. He's found him. I'm going to add device. Okay, so in here it's saying click the import button, navigate to the EasyCAD application directory, open plug directory, select the correct marking file. It's typically mark CFG7. So we'll click here. Easy CAD drive. We'll scroll down, there's the plug folder. And there's Mark CFG7. Open. Next. This is 150 by 150. <clears throat> so we'll call this OMG. 150 lens next and finish all right so now that the 150 is in there let's do this again so we'll add manually JCZ fiber. Next, import config. So we'll do the same exact thing. This one we'll do the 70 by 70. Down to plug. Mark CFG open. Next. So we'll get, rename this to OMG 70 lens. Next, finish. And we'll do it one more time as we've got the three lenses. JCZ fiber. Next, import. Three hundred by three hundred. Plug. Mark CFG seven. Okay. Next. Rename OM G three hundred lens and finish. Okay, so 
we're going to select, I think it's got the 150 in it. So we have it all selected. Okay, so I had a test go and burned through this card all like completely. <laughs> so I definitely got that wrong. Um, but basically what I've done here is you need to lower the, move the laser head using this here until you are, so two dots line up. So right there, so we're in focus. I've loaded my logo up. Um, I used settings off off the website, of OMG's website. Um, so I had gone up and used the ones for um, for photo engraving on aluminium, on black aluminium. So I initially plugged those in, but what I found was whilst the the outline was great on the fill layer it was way too much power um, so it literally burned a hole through the card and it uh, left me a little mark but you can't feel it it's just a bit discolored so I'll put some cleaner on it later so anyway if I pick frame here you can see it's doing the, the logo so I'm just going to line that up it's just practice so it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be spot on. That's close enough. Safety glasses on. All right, let's uh, let's see how this one goes this time. And there it is. So we'll uh, proceed with caution because I have no idea. Oh, it's actually not bad. So, there we go.